Hi everyone, this is Ida with Created to Create. I have a project share and I had already done my video and I didn't realize that I didn't turn on my lights. So I have to redo it guys. Um, what I wanted to share with you is that I've been playing with these uh, this Stampin' Die set from Heartfelt Creations. This is no longer available. If uh, you might find bits and pieces here and there, but it is no longer available. This is a retired stamp, but it's new to me. And um, anyway, it's the coffee mug and the uh, the die and the stamp set. And I think the the whole uh, thing was called Coffee Talk or something like that. Was the name of the um, uh, what do you call it? I don't, I don't remember what you call it, guys, but, or, you know, the line of this, uh, it had paper, it had different things, so the package, so it was uh, called Coffee Talk, and anyway, I was able to grab these, and I played with them today for the first time, and the stamp does have the big mug, and then it does have a couple of sentiments, and the mug measures, it's four by five, guys, the mug, and then here you have two sentiments, but they are coffee sentiments, but just because they're coffee doesn't mean you can't use them for hot cocoa, tea, or anything else, because when I drink my tea, I drink it in a taller mug. Uh, because if I do a smaller one, it's a little bit too strong for me. So I usually get the bigger one and, and put more water in it. Anyway, uh, and then here's the die. And the die, it comes with the die to cut out the mug. And then it comes with like a cup border and then the stack cups. Now there is a stamp that coordinates with these. I don't own it. I was uh, lucky enough to find it one time, but I blessed my friend Nisha with it. So I, d I actually don't own it. But I do own this, so I was playing with it today. And I'm going to show you kind of this was the one I was playing with. Uh, I always like to do one that's like a practice one. And all I did was emboss in the pink. And then I um, I went ahead and kind of blended in more pink dark uh, around the edges and a darker pink. And then I colored in with my Spectrum Noir a little bit here and there. And then this also I colored it in with my Spectrum Noir. And I didn't fit, complete this one because I thought, okay, I, let, me, let me do a for real one. <laughs> you know, we do a play one, then a for real one. Well, uh, anyway, I did emboss the uh, sentiment on here. A cup of tea warms like a good friend. So this can be for like I said anything it can be hot cocoa apple cider coffee tea it doesn't matter and um, and here's the inside like I said I was playing with this one and I noticed that when I was coloring this one that the colors really weren't bleeding through because I was using a very light hand but when I did my original one it did bleed through not really bad but I just don't like the way it looks anyway this one I did it like the heartfelt uh, channel has they, they have um, a tutorial on how to make this card and I did mine a little bit different this was the first one that I did and I did it exactly the way they did it and uh, and then I'll show you my other one so I thought okay we're good I can do this this is a completed one and again I, I embossed with a rose gold was it a rose gold? I think it's either rose gold or copper. Embossing powder. And then I went in with my Spectrum Noir with a darker pink and kind of just colored in little bits here and there. And uh, it does have like some dots on the uh, this portion and this portion of the under, above and beneath the this uh, fill, um, scroll work that's on the cup. So I alternated every other uh, little dot. I put in one of these little bling pieces. And then I did color this up here with the Spectrum Nor, a couple shades of brown to make it look like tea. And then I embossed the sentiment, a cup of tea warms like a good friend. And then I cut out the, the tea bag and the spoon out of uh, uh, like a rose gold foil paper. And I, I added glue to the tip of the spoon and I dipped it in the diamond dust to make it look like sugar crystals. And then I added a bling to the end. And then this flower is what I had left over from the flowers I made this morning. I didn't add any sparkle or anything to these. 
uh, because I had it on the leaves. And then I added a little acrylic butterfly sticker on there and then a little center on here. And But I noticed that when I created this one and I colored it in, it kind of bled through a little bit right there. And I don't like the way that looks. It to me kind of looks dirty. I'm not going to throw it away because I know it's just that the ink bled through. And also another thing I noticed that you don't see the full uh, edges of the cup here. And even though this looks nice, I thought it could be better. So I did mine a little bit different than what uh, Heartfelt did theirs, but it's pretty similar. So what I did first, I cut out just a base. And even, see my washi tape got stuck here? It doesn't matter because I'm going to cover that up. And it's still connected here. When I when I add my dye to my paper, like kind of score my paper like if I'm doing a card, uh, the ones that measure uh, five and a half by four and a quarter once they're folded, that's how I do it. And then when I line my paper to um, to to cut it in my dye, I make sure that the paper is below the cutting line. Now, it doesn't extend over the, cutter line, the cutting line. It's a little bit short, so it doesn't touch the cutting line. So when I run it through, my piece is still connected. So that's why this is connected, because the blade didn't reach all the way to the end. So that that's what that's Hartfeld's way of doing it. And uh, then they would stamp and color. And they would actually stamp first and then fold and color and all that. You, you know, they have a tutorial. You can watch it if you want. Anyway what I did was I did this and then I stamped another piece let me see let's use this one then I stamped embossed another piece and uh, not folded just the one section pretend like this piece is not here it was just the one piece I, I stamped it uh, I embossed it I colored it in I put my sentiment I did all my shading for the tea um, you know, all the coloring, I did anything that would bleed through, I did before I, I adhered it to my cup. After I had colored it all in and knew it wouldn't bleed through, through anymore, I just added glue to the back and I glued it on top of my card base. So you wouldn't see the colors when they bleed through. And um, And I'll show you what that looks like. That's this one right here. I did, like I said, I, I have two pieces. I have the card base, and then I have the one cup that I did emboss and color in. And, you know, added the bling. I added even glossy accents right here where I colored the tea, the liquid. I cut these two out in a, um, like a holographic, but it doesn't have like a pattern. It's just solid. So I cut it out in that type of paper. I added my blings, every other dot. And I added the sugar crystals or the diamond dust to the edge. And these are some flowers, again, from Heartfelt Creation that, that I did a while back. And here are some leaves that I was playing with this morning. And again, here's that little acrylic butterfly. And then here's the sentiment embossed. And I think it ended up really nice. But see, when I open this, it's clean on the inside. There's no ink um, bleeding through or anything like that and I can write my sentiment on this side or I could even add a little pocket to add a gift card if that's what I wanted to do but and then too what I like about this because I I cut out the whole piece the whole cup see these little bumps here on the other card you don't see it on my first card see it's minus those little bumps because I couldn't go that far because I didn't want my cup not to be connected so I had to kind of eliminate those. But by adding that extra piece on top, then I get the full look of the cup with those these little bumps and everything on it. And I really like the way this one turned out. Uh, and this little tea, this little tea bag and the spoon, these actually came with this bear set. And I think there's a couple more things in there. And this one is a purchase that I did on Amazon. I'm not going to leave links, guys. I think all I typed in was uh, tea themed dyes and this one came up with the little honey bear and I think he looks really cute and I was actually thinking of maybe uh, in another one if I make another one just add the little honey bear uh, to the cup right there and I think that's super cute anyway let me share with you also how I colored these um, I have I get questions about what inks did I use and stuff like that so I'm going to share with you uh, 
uh, I use any ink pad, guys. It doesn't matter. What I what I use a lot are these little dew drops, and uh, these are by Memento. And actually, this new sprout. This is one of my favorite colors. This is what I use on the center of my flowers. And uh, and they just come in little packages. The, and you get several in one package. I don't know, you get four or five in one package. Another thing that I do use is this Chalk Edger by Prima. And this one's called Vintage Pink. But I'm going to tell you what I don't like about this. These tend to come unglued from the base. And then you have to hold them to use them. And of course, you get that all over your hands and you get it all over your projects. So that's what I don't like about the these. I do have several that have come off. The colors I love. I don't like I don't like the fact that they come off. Um, the color that I used to do the blue inside this cup is actually this embellishment mousse that my friend Sabrina, who is the S Factor Studio here on YouTube, she gifted me this embellishment mousse she gave me a couple colors for my birthday this aqua or mint color let's see what it's called it is called aquamarine and there it is there's the uh, barcode and the color i hope that the phone is focusing that way you guys if you want it I'm sure you can find it. You, you can find anything on Google, guys. So anyway, she gifted me this, and that was perfect with the embossing powder. I think it's called t Aqua Tinsel, and that I did buy at Hobby Lobby, uh, the embossing powder that I used to emboss this. And see all that iridescent? I don't know if you can see it, because I noticed this morning that uh, when I was showing you the roses, that my phone didn't even do it justice. You couldn't even see what I was talking about. Anyway, this does have some sparkle all over it because it is in the embossing powder. It's so pretty. I really love the way this came out. And um, I'm going to see if I can give you another view. Look at how pretty they are. I'm going to see if I can give you another view. I mean, just at, and then if I had, didn't put the tea bag I, or had it on the other side, I could have added this little honey bear right there. And look at how cute that is. So um, hopefully I'm going to see what you see and see if you can. Uh, I'm going to look at through the screen on the phone, see if I can give you a really good look at these roses because really it, the video didn't do them justice. And I'm sorry, guys. I can only do what my phone allows me to do. I wish you could see what I see. Maybe you can. Let me bring it up a little bit more. Anyway, these are really pretty, guys. That cosmic shimmer is beautiful. So anyway, this is what I created and this is what I was playing with and I wanted to share that with you. But again, remember that these uh, two items I know are discontinued. Um, you might still be able to find them. I think I have seen some on eBay or somewhere, but you're not going to find the whole set. Uh, you, I don't think you're going to find the whole set because I'm still looking for certain pieces that go to it as well. And haven't been able to find it, but uh, it's definitely a nice set. And like I said, it's 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 a pretty good size die. Um, there's my hand, like it's the size of my hand. It's a really good size uh, die, and I just love the way that these came out. And again, you can make them into gift card holders, or just regular cards like this. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope everyone has a great day, and God bless. Bye.